This is going to work on taking your arm into this overhead position, but doing it by moving your body on your arm instead of actually lifting your hand into the air, which helps to maintain a little bit more contraction of your trunk with the muscles that stabilize your scapula. So I'm going to have a person start off hands against the wall, fingers spread nice and wide, and I want my hands maybe just below shoulder height to start. Now I want to make sure I set this up where with my elbows, I don't want them to flare out. I also don't need to really jam them in. So I want to think about a light tuck in of my elbows without really forcing it as hard as I can. If someone's doing a bench press, a lot of times they talk about the cue of bending the bar. So I want to try and keep my elbows slightly in as I'm going through a pressing motion or even this overhead so that I'm not flaring out into my shoulders. So hands against the wall, elbows in a little. Now I'm going to start off just walking back away. Now as I do that, you can see my arms are starting to go overhead. So I'm requiring myself to maintain a little bit more stability in my shoulders into an overhead position here. Now, if I want to go further, I'm kind of maxing out on how far my arms can go. So to make this a little bit more of a challenge, I can walk my hands a little lower on the wall so that I get into this somewhat of a push-up plank-like position. Now, there's a couple things that I could do here. One is I could just hold this position and see if I can maintain the stability through my shoulders make sure my back is not dropping. So just holding this position for endurance is one way to start off progressing into overhead stability. Now, if this is too much, first time I go through this, I may say, all right, hands are at the wall. I start walking away. And as I walk away, let's say as I go a little further, I start to get a pinch or a discomfort on the top of my shoulder. I wanna stay just shy of that. So I'm you know, working towards overhead, but not forcing it. And then I maintain this position, I can do a couple things. I could try and do a leg lift, each side. This would probably be what I would call maybe phase one with both hands on the wall. I could keep both feet on the ground with a little bit of a wider base and I can see how I feel shifting and be weighting one hand. Same thing, making sure my elbows in slightly, shifting. You can see once I get to just de-weighting the hand, I can then once again take the hand away. So in organizing this, first I would just be holding the position, maybe five to 10 seconds, come back up, step away, just short of the pain on the top of the shoulder, five to 10 seconds, come back up. As that's getting easier, my phase two will be to get into that same position and see how I feel doing a lift of the leg. Automatically lifting this leg is going to put a little bit more weight on the same side hand. And then alternating other side. Third on the list would be to keep the feet on the ground and actually go through the lifting of a hand. Which is once again going to be more of a challenge now onto one shoulder. And then obviously from here I can progress to going lower or as I shift to that one hand then also lifting one leg to challenge core stability and making sure that as I take that leg away, I don't drop into this where my back arches and I don't start to let my shoulder hike up. So I wanna make sure as I do whatever part of this that increases the challenge, I keep that shoulder down and I keep my trunk so that as I'm going through these positions, I'm not falling into the back arch and I'm not falling into that shoulder starting to hike up towards my ear.